What's up loan officers? If you've been wondering how to do loan officer marketing on Facebook, my name is Nick Carpenter from the Legion of Loan Officers. We're about to go through a three-part series and we're gonna show you exactly how to increase your mortgage business on Facebook for free. Stick around. All right, so first thing we're gonna do in step number one is what we're gonna talk about today. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment. We're gonna be showing you the other three, the other parts of this series um, you know, coming up over the next couple of weeks. Number one, when a loan officer wants to grow their business on Facebook, oftentimes the only thing people think about are Facebook ads. A lot of times the organic side of what you can do for free on Facebook, it gets forgotten about. You know, people just wanna give Facebook money and get leads out or give Facebook money and put their ad in front of the right people. And obviously I'm a big fan of that as well, which is why I have tons of videos on this channel about loan officer Facebook ads. I rank number one on Google for loan officer Facebook ads and it's something that I really believe that all loan officers should be doing. But in addition to the paid side of Facebook and what you can do there on the paid side, there's also a whole other part of Facebook where you can do things for free, right? Obviously, if you're on Facebook, you understand that there's a whole free side because that's everything that's involved with your personal profile. So on these next three videos, we're going to talk about how to use your personal profile and how to grow your mortgage business. All right. So step number one is real simple. You need to be adding new Facebook friends every single day. So First question I get, who should I be adding? Okay, the people that you should be adding, there's really two categories of folks that you wanna add. Now, if this is a new process, if what I'm about to share is gonna be new for you, if you've never gone and purposefully added people to your Facebook so that you can grow your connections with intention, it might feel kind of weird at first, right? You're gonna be kind of sending messages to strangers, uh, sending them face request, you know, Facebook friend requests, and as a loan officer doing marketing on Facebook, it might feel kind of strange, okay, when you do it the first time. But as you start doing this every single day, you're gonna be used to it, you're gonna be out there hunting, um, just like a caveman back in the day, right? We're gonna purposefully go out and we're gonna hunt and we're gonna intentionally create connections that could potentially be referral partners or um, you know, uh, share business or, or that kind of thing, right? All right, so when you're adding people on Facebook, who should you be adding? You should be adding potential referral partners. You should be adding people that are your ideal, perfect client, okay? I'm gonna focus, if you're a loan officer today, we're gonna focus on adding real estate agents to your profile, okay? We wanna make sure that realtors are seeing the stuff that you have going on in your business, right? The events that you're hosting, the testimonials you're getting, uh, the closings that you're having, the success you're creating for your other real, realtor partners. You wanna make sure that other realtors that you're not currently working with you want them to see those things, right? So we want to intentionally be going out there and adding realtors to our profile on an on a every single day basis, okay? So where do you find the realtors to add to your profile? That's definitely the biggest hurdle that most people have is they're not sure um, who to add, right? Where do you find people to send the friend request to? All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of different ideas of where you can find these folks. Number one, you can find realtors inside of realtor Facebook groups. Okay, so you can go into, uh, you know, just go on Facebook, do a search at the top for like your local area with the word realtors or real estate behind it. So for example, you could search, if I was in Dallas, Fort Worth, right, in Arlington, Texas, where we used to live, you could search for Arlington Realtors, you could search for DFW Realtors, Dallas, Fort Worth Realtors, and all those things also with real estate behind it. Okay, you wanna try to find some local realtor groups that you could either join or just be able to mine the, the members out of it, right? So what's cool is if on Facebook, if it's a public group, then you can see all the members that are in that group and you could be able to go through and check out those profiles and be able to send them friend requests that way. If it is a closed group, the only people that you can see publicly are the admins and everybody else that's a member, you can be able to see those members whenever you get inside the group. So try to join the groups if you can, and then you can use those, go through, and just be purposeful again with who you're adding, right? You don't wanna be adding loan officers, so don't just go through and add everybody because there's gonna be other affiliates in the group too. You wanna only be adding the realtors. 
Um, so groups, Facebook groups, that's the first place that you can find realtors to be adding. The second way that you can look for realtors is you can look through your other, your friends, friends list, right? So realtors, they're connected to a lot of other realtors on Facebook. And if you have one realtor friend, they're going to have a lot of realtors in their friends list. So just click into their friends list if it's visible and you can be able to see who else they're connected to that are also agents. And um, keep in mind when you're doing this process, you only need to be adding three to five people per day. So you don't want to be, don't try to add a hundred people in one day. Facebook will actually ban you from sending friend requests for a, a period of time. You just want to be just doing this as a slow play, right? This is a long-term strategy, not a one hit, you're done, once and done kind of strategy. It's something you're gonna do on a daily basis, okay? So the first place is Facebook groups. The second place is looking through your Facebook friends, friends list, right? Again, realtors are connected to realtors. Title people are connected to tons of realtors. So be looking through those folks, go to their friends list, and you can kind of snipe out their friends. Being specific to only send invitations to realtors and not to the other title people or insurance, mortgage people, all that kind of stuff, right? We wanna be real specific. The third way that you can find um, realtors on Facebook to be sending friend requests to is um, by looking up keyword phrases and also looking up hashtags, right? It's going to show you different posts that have the hashtag on the post. And you can also look up keyword phrases, look up posts. It's going to show you people that, are, that have Facebook posts that are public that have those key phrases built into them. So that's step one for loan officer marketing on Facebook. We're going to share with you all the different ways that you can do this for free, grow your mortgage business, get more leads, get more referral partners. This is just one strategy. So again, this is part one. Make sure that you subscribe down below, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and we're gonna come back in the next few days with the following two parts, part number two, part number three. We'll be back with those. So in the meantime, make sure that you start sending out three to five friend requests to realtors every single day, and that's step number one in loan officer marketing on Facebook. My goal and intention at this moment is to do two videos per week. I hope you're having an awesome day. See you next time.